don't be shy give me a like and subscribe like the video thumbs up bottom corner there you can hit click the uh the little subscribe button so you get updates as i upload videos serbian house <laughs> holy smokes boys and girls we are at almost four thousand people on this page blows my mind when i started this page my kid had more more subscribers than i have and i was just messing around. I was just like, hey, I'm gonna have more than you. And look at where I am now. I actually have more than him. Not that 4,000 is a lot. I mean, you look at Cletus McFarland, who's got like millions, and 1320 video, who has millions. But they all start somewhere. All right, so anyway, we're on our way. I'm uh, gonna work on the bald beaver machine today so we can get some uh, bald beaver beavers flying out of that baby. And uh, here we go. Uh, we're just cruising down to the shop. When I say we're, I mean myself and you guys. Uh, work on the old CRX. My phone's bouncing around a bit. I'm in my truck right now. Going to get the shifter installed. Uh, I'd like to get the turbo back on. Um, I'd like to start working on the wastegate and the downpipe or sort of uppipe, I guess you could call it, uh, for the turbo. Oh, my phone's just like vibrating all over. I hope it works out. Um, and yeah, we'll keep on cruising. Here we go. Well, hopefully we're gonna get this done. We have to tee these off. Not Ideally what I'd like to do, but it's kind of what we're stuck with. I'd like to get the wastegate pipe done too. We're gonna have a screamer coming straight up over here where the hood would be. And the downpipe coming off of the uh, turbo. I'm going over here too, we're gonna run the boat over there. Some of you might be worried about radiant heat, but there's no hood going on this. So, let's see where that takes us. Well, we're getting closer here. That's uh, gonna be a little tight for a filter. It's actually tighter in person than it looks there. Ha! That's what she said! So we're cruising along here. Uh, we started working on the pipes there. And uh, we do have to get the blow-off valve mounted on there yet. Um, it's just a cheap one, little guy. We're just not sure where we're putting it. We're kind of contemplating in this area here. I uh, got the throttle body all cleaned up there. Everything else is starting to fit pretty good. We gotta get the down pipes done yet. We're getting there. All right, interior is looking good. So one of the issues we're gonna run into is with the cluster. This transmission is drive by wire and this cluster is drive by cable. So we're probably gonna end up switching the cluster out to an early 90s uh, SIR drive by wire cluster. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. We've got the shifter installed now. It's looking pretty good. We gotta finish a bit of the console around it yet. We've got all of the wiring to deal with yet. There is so much to do here. The interior is its own headache for sure once the engine bay is done. But the engine bay is getting closer. So we're cruising along here. Still, I gotta get that coupler and actually it turns out this throttle body's different size. So I gotta get the right coupler for that. Next up, coolant lines gotta get done. I've got the blow off valve in here now. Slowly coming along. I was wondering, I've got pressure side here, comes down, intercooler, out, back across, up and into the throttle body. I think we'll get the cooling system dialed in, start worrying about the fuel system. Gotta get that turbo down yet and the brakes. It's coming along. We gotta get all this plasti dip off here that somebody put on here. But you can't just peel it off because it's on here crazy thin just comes off so for those of you that don't know brake clean actually softens plastic depth up a lot so we're gonna soak this in brake clean and hit it with the pressure washer and hope we can get it prepped to uh, be painted so we're kind of getting close to that point on the car where we need to be thinking about paint see how it looks textured now it's starting to lift off there right so that's good. Well, man, next up we've got cooling system to deal with, oil feed and return on the turbo to deal with, we've got brake lines to deal with. We need the screamer pipe and the down pipe on the turbo. Come across, come up over here. We've got clutch system to deal with, we've got fuel system to deal with. A lot more to go yet.
make sure you do like and subscribe to this because I do want to see uh, more followers to get some stuff done. Uh, I think on the next video we're going to try and get the cooling system dialed in. Uh, there's the hole in the floor from where the rear diff is that needs to be patched up. We're kind of getting down to the little stuff before we get into releasing all the bald beavers and doing some serious burnouts with this shit. Uh, that's it and uh, stay tuned.